Hello students, welcome to Sri Chaitanya Gosala YouTube channel. So today we'll be talking about a very interesting topic because now it is not 3 hours 20 minutes, it is 3 hours. So 180 questions, 180 minutes. So everybody have a, you know their own strategies, everybody are busy with making their own strategies but there is always a question mark in everybody's mind what should be the right strategy for this NEET examination of 2025. So as far as I am concerned because I have been working with the NEET aspirants and have been giving good results in this field. So if at all you ask me because see, we are seeing 180 minutes but in the realistic goal when you enter into the, into the you know when, when you enter into the uh, classroom when you sit when you adjust and then you know slowly there are biometrics and all or your thumb impression will be taken there will be a little bit of disturbances somewhere and then you have your marking scheme once you have to fill your OMR for at least eight to nine minutes of time will be wasted there so in reality in your hands you have 170 minutes or 165 minutes and 180 questions how best you have to yield or make your strategy to appear for this examination. Let us say initially everybody starts with biology then goes to chemistry and then goes to physics. This is the general pattern every almost 99.99% of the NEET aspirants prepare to get the good result and we also won't deviate from it. Let us follow the same sequence but when you start with botany, when you start with zoology always you have to understand brain capacity should be understood by you guys and moreover you all are biologists because you all are studying biology so you will be understanding it much better so always you know it better right when you start a first question when you you know go to the second third fourth fifth then you hold the rhythm and then you start you know enhancing your speed but if at all let us say you start with botany or you start with zoology if at all you you know before the examination 10 or 15 minutes before the examination you start you know working out with whatever top whatever subject you are going to start with in your brain then once the paper comes your brain is already active and you reach that rhythm when you reach that rhythm probably that two or three minutes of lethargic time which you miss to get the rhythm will always be enhanced and which will be added into your time so 165 now became 167 minutes in your hands so you save two minutes and the second most important thing is when you are solving certain questions at some point of you know somewhere in some questions what happens is you struck your brain suddenly will not you know uh, give an answer or response immediately you always have to understand that brain could not process these questions when you are studying it at the you know one go because i told you already in my last you know video how you have to understand or how your brain functions so in the same way once in the examination you let us say 20 questions are done you are at the 21st question and the 21st question when you are doing and first visit or first reading of the question is not striking your brain please keep the question aside for the review and continue the next questions and after finishing five or six questions or completing you know all the questions come back i am very sure you will be able to answer it because now it will again get you know speed up why because when you struck when you stuck at a place again to get the rhythm you again have to pick it up and there you may lose certain amount of time so hence i tell you any question after one reading if it is not striking keep it as a review and then you know go forward and continue with the other questions then next is chemistry and then when you go to chemistry there is a strategy for you know generally generally good student strategy i tell you first of all what you have to do is look at the inorganic or organic chemistry questions and solve them inorganic chemistry questions are mostly fact based and you don't need to really uh, you know uh, what you say calculate or work out so much you just have to because memory based and i'm very sure for je aspirant it might be tough but neat aspirants when you remember animal kingdom plant kingdom anatomy morphology so many examples remembering ncrt lines of you know inorganic chemistry is much easier for you and i'm 100 percent sure about it and then go to organic and complete the organic questions and the last go you have to keep it for your physical chemistry why because physical chemistry contain a mixture of both you know conceptual as well as numericals when you solve numericals keep please keep the numericals at the end when you solve the numericals what happens is now you, your numerical speed increases 
and you also remember that once you are done with the chemistry you have to go for physics and when you go to physics there will be definitely good number of uh, the, you know calculative questions as you already got the rhythm of calculations your calculative speed will be high as well as your calculative accuracy will also be very high when you go to physics and this will somewhere save lot of time because you, now you are clear when you are clear with your strategy before the examination you just have to go and keep it or place it there i am very sure it will yield good result for you and the most important thing sometimes what we generally do is to finish a question in you know in in, a, in the speed or you know time when you look at the time and you start reading the question very fast then what actually happens is in the first go you will not be able to understand the information of the question or you may miss the question and then most of the students what they do they come back they read the question again i'm again repeating most of the students they read the question very fast they don't understand they come back they read the question again and after that reading they understand what is given and what exactly they have to interpret so you always have to understand if you go for 50 or 60 such questions in an examination of 180 let us say each question at least uh, you know uh, take 5 seconds of your time so 50 questions is 15 into 5 is almost 250 seconds of time where you almost getting 6 minutes of valuable time into your hands so again 6 minutes of valuable time if it is added to your you know you know your overall time then probably you are the richest in writing the examination where because it, it is not about how much money you have how much knowledge you have it is all about how much time you you are left with in the examination is very important and please follow all these instructions to yield the best result in 2025 neat all the very best from whole team of goshala shri chaitanya bye bye guys